Good morning everyone, it's now Mekha Nayaka from Encouragement from the Word of God. It's a beautiful Monday, it's very cold outside but I want to take a few minutes and speak about the Word of God with you today. The Word is taken from Acts chapter 19 today for our Bible study a week. This Friday we will be studying the book of Acts and Acts chapter 19. And it will be a talk about, we will be talking about the city of Ephesus that Paul went and ministered and Paul had great opportunity uh, to preach about the word of God to a city which was ungodly and there were many who came to know Christ and Paul stayed there many years in Ephesus but we can see that Ephesus now if you take Ephesus there is no more churches no more uh, fire burning Christians there but Islam and other religions have taken over so what really happened to the church in Ephesus that was so powerfully worked by the Holy Spirit and Paul did a great ministry a missionary journey there what happened to that we can see in Revelations chapter 2 verse 4 that God says Jesus says about the church in Ephesus and he says in Revelation chapter 2 says without growing weary you have preserved and endured many things for my sake my name's sake but I have this against you you have abandoned your first love therefore keep on keep in mind how far you have fallen repent and perform the deeds you did at first but if you do not repent I will come to you and remove so really the church in Ephesus they were so uh, they were very fiery burning for Christ and they 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 loved Jesus so very much and many came to know Christ but what really happened what really happened was that they lost the they left the first love they didn't lose it the love for Jesus was still there but they left it they left it they left the first love that they had for Jesus so what can you and I learn today we love Jesus so very much he's done so many things for us we feel the Holy Spirit inside of us but many times we might not give Jesus the priority we might give other things priority maybe we'll give our children priority before we have that prayer time with Jesus or we might give our work priority before we work uh, we do before we pray we will start our work and do things but God is instructing you and me not to leave that first love for Christ to love him to serve him to honor him to give him priority in everything you do so you and I we have to have that first love we shouldn't leave our first love for Jesus Christ we should worship him before work we should worship him and give him the first priority we know in the in the Gospels where Mary was there and Martha was there Martha was so busy entertaining Jesus and disciples but Mary she sat down at Jesus's feet and gave priority to listen to Jesus's word and Jesus encourages Martha and say Martha Martha you worry about so many things but one thing is needed and Mary has found it you and I we need to have that love first love for Christ we should never leave that first love that we have for Christ so here in Ephesus now in this century if we look at Ephesus we can see that there is very less Christians and Islam has taken over many other religions have taken over but at the time when Paul had the missionary journey it was very a very good harvest that he had and what really what really made to that harvest was that people left the love first love for Jesus and they they gave Jesus second priority and not the first priority so I encourage you and myself my brother and sister let us finish this race and let us have the first priority to Christ and let us have him say to us well done my good and faithful servant well done my good and faithful child you have loved me and you've given me priority that's what God wants from us let's pray today father we come to you Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, that your word teaches us every day. Lord, help us to give you priority above our work, above our children, above our loved ones, above our priority, above our interest, above our things that we crave and like. God, give you the priority. Help us to seek you first. Seek you before we work. 
worship you before we work because you deserve all the glory. You reserve the first love from our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to sing one small chorus. It's called, I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King. In what you hear, may it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound. May it be a sweet, sweet sound. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Let's confess to our Lord Jesus Christ that He is our first love, that He is the reason that we live and breathe and have our being. And let Him let us give Him the first priority in everything we do. May it be something that you like to do. May it be, may you remember to give Jesus the first priority in your life. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you. It's really cold here in Toronto. The winter season is coming, but we give thanks in all seasons. God bless you. Bye.